We have got a celebrated crew officiating this one. Terry Oglesby, who's done one Final Four, two Elite Eights, his 11th tournament. Vern Harris, eight Final Fours and five National Championship games. And Tim Clockerty, one Sweet 16, 10 NCAAs, and away we go in the final. And across the lane in binding room and off the glass, put in by Matthew Alexander of Moncrief. Moncrief is the guy who had a big game against Liberty. He's very athletic, and that's what he likes to do. He likes to attack the basket. Morgan Beavers, the number 12 seed, 18 and 12 record, 10 and 10 in the back 12. Silva has it. Now the handoff, Lucas. It's a quick, long, athletic defensive team of Oklahoma State maneuvering Thompson for a mid-range shot with a nice rebound in the back, pedaling Roman Silva. Well, Kevin, Oregon State, when they were 11 and 11, Wayne Tinkle told us they finally figured it out that they needed to play inside out. And the way they play on the inside is that man right there, Roman Silva. They like to get the ball into him. He was eight for eight in the opening round win against Tennessee. Isaac likely picks up the foul. That's a three, which will not drop their nice offensive rebound inside. Finger roll by Silva, who is a 7-1 senior from Rancho Cucamonga, California. And that's what Silva does. He's a very good offensive rebounder, but he catches the ball. No, he's not going to shoot any threes, but when he gets the ball around the basket, he's a load to stop. They go down low, ricochets out of bounds. The shot clock at 17. And this is a tough shot, and Silva just gets the rebound over the smaller Anderson. <laughs> Poor Avery Anderson. Giving up about a foot there, and he wasn't able to get the rebound, and Silva lays it in. This is Cunningham right here. He's out of Arlington, Texas. Well, they got him in a straight jacket down low. Caleb Boone was trying to maneuver. Reichel was there, they had Thompson there, and foul will go on Reichel, who looks like he may have taken one there on the lip. Well, that's always tough when you get the foul and you take one yeah, on the lip. Right. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. Cunningham has it, that's a three. There's a screen set up by Boone, and it's over the backboard and out of bounds, and the Beavers will get it. Kevin, now you'll see Oregon State play a number of different defenses they, as they try to disrupt this Oklahoma State attack. They started in a man-to-man. -man. You saw a 2-3 zone, and they were, looked like they were in a 1-3-1 on that out-of-bounds play. Leading score on the team. Ethan Thompson bringing it up. Lucas on the wing, down to the seven-footer Silva. Gentle touch. Rebound by Likely, galloping the other way for the Cowboys. That's the first shot Silva's missed in this tournament. Isn't that something? He's been so accurate. Likely going inside and off the foot of Zach Reichel. The Beavers winning the Pac-12 tournament for the first time in school history. They beat number 25, Oregon in the semis, and number 23, Colorado in the finals. And here they are, winning in the first round, advancing here to the round of 32. They go inside, a smashing move, knocked away. Moncrief couldn't get it, and there's a foul. It's on the Cowboys as Thompson was flying the other way. And in the way was Avery Anderson, who's tagged with his first. Well, there was some contact on the play with Moncrief, but Moncrief, as he goes into Silva here, Moncrief is the guy who creates all the contact. Silva goes straight up and down, and the referees have been instructed not to reward offensive players who create the contact. 16-footer will not drop. And then off the fingertips of Silva and out of bounds. Oklahoma State in the NCAA tournament the last time back in 2017, getting an at-large bid. The number four seed the best since 2005. Looks like the Beavers are back in the man-to-man. -man. Ethan Thompson matched up against Cunningham. Oh, a shifty move inside by Anderson. He gives you a move with every part of his body. And and Anderson offensively has been absolutely outstanding down the stretch for Oklahoma State. And you're right, Kevin. He just did, does a nice job. <laughs> like that dribble. He goes right yeah. by Silva. The seven-footer just not able to move his feet well enough to get in front of Anderson. He's a sophomore from Justin, Texas. 
Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament right now at NCAA.com. So this is from Justin, Texas. They moved there. The family fled New Orleans due to Hurricane Katrina. And Justin, Texas is where they ended up. He has a story to tell, as do thousands of others. Thompson dancing into Cunningham. Got the screen. Cuts and fires on the fly with a foul. You know, he did a really nice job using Silva as a screen, and Silva is one big screen that you mentioned, Kevin. He's one 265 pounds. There's Silva, he is from Diamond Ranch High School. He went to San Bernardino College and then transferred to the Beaver program. Ray Thompson at the free throw line. He is an 80% free throw shooter. Kevin, this is a pretty good free throw shooting team. They shoot almost 76% as a team. Hey, watch them run. Watch them run. Bernard Kuma has checked in for Oklahoma State, taking the place of Caleb Boone. White. Kuma has been an important sub. Over the last couple of games, he's very active and energetic on the inside. Look at the black jerseys quickly run around the All-America. Kate Cunningham, who got it to go with a slippery move inside. Kevin, that's a really tough play. Cunningham not only made a great catch, but he did a nice job maintaining his balance. That is a great catch. Now, he collects himself, and if you don't get him while he's dribbling the ball, Reichel is, is, is very late. Right. If you don't get him when he dribbles that ball, the officials just almost never let you steal the ball from a big guy inside who's hanging on to it. Ethan Thompson picked up the Beaver foul. Cunningham had a slow start the other night, as you were talking about. And he found his paces down the stretch. He was every bit the All-American. Little spinner right here, will roll right across. Alatiche is in the game, Warith Alatiche. And it won't drop, and will go the other way. Alatiche, a very active player on the inside, Kevin. He averages almost 10 points a game, but he is a great offensive rebounder. The speed merchant, Avery Anderson. Off to Cunningham. Screen by Kuma. Three there to meet him. Cunningham. Rifles one down the lane. Kuma with the spinner. Right on the doorstep and could not get it to drop. Lucas has it. He's off to the races. Thompson on the wing into Cunningham. The trailing Lucas in a three. No. Cunningham had it. Here comes Anderson. The trailer. The three. Book it. Oklahoma State wants to play fast. They want to get up and down. They'll shoot that three in transition. Cade Cunningham, a very good three-point shooter, something that people didn't know whether he'd be able to do that at the college level or not. But he shoots almost 40% from out there. There's a drive, and they can't. Boy, they've missed so many baskets early on on the doorstep. Alatiche couldn't get it. Cowboy is going the other way. Anderson on the wing. Across the lane, meets the defense of Thompson, and a tie-up. Nice defensive play by Ethan Thompson of Oregon State. We have the Beavers and the Cowboys. You're watching the NCAA Tournament on TBS. Powerade knows there's power in numbers for stories of the numbers behind athletes who have gone viral. Go to the House of Highlights. Instagram page and let's say good evening to Dana Jacobson. Hey Kevin, Oregon State had a little extra motivation going into that conference tournament to get the win. They were actually picked 12th, dead last is where everyone thought they would finish the season. So going into that conference tournament, they got shirts that on the tag area had the number 12. They're not going to finish 12th. As you mentioned, they go on to win it and then the student store came up with this great t-shirt that you just saw there. It crosses out the 12 and it's a first. And a first time they've ever won Dana, the, the postseason tournament in the back uh, 10, now 12. Reichel. Thompson. Oregon State has gone one of eight to start the game. Over the last six games, they had shot 49% from the floor. Kevin, and uh, they've missed something from point blank range. 
Shot clock at three. Lucas inside. Kuma. And then he heaves it up. And out of bounds it bounces. Kalu tried to get it and couldn't. It goes back to the Cowboys. Tim just took a little too long to get that going. They've gone with the big lineup. Kalu was in the game, stays in the game. So Kalu and Silver are in there at the same time. Gianni Hunt has come in too. Beavers in the man to man. Anderson hooks it off. Likely who's built like a linebacker. Takes it low. Stepped out of bounds. Yes. Well, he took it a little too low, though. So far, the Beavers' defense has done a nice job collapsing on those drives into the lane. I don't think Oregon State's problem so far has been defense. It's been that they haven't been able to make any shots. Oregon State is at a different leading score. For six of the last seven games. So they get it from every fingertip. Hunt on the wing. Got to get free and back on top to go to Kalu. And a floater by Kalu. Now inside. Big man tries to spin. Silva had it knocked away and out of bounds. Kuma was there to meet him. Length against length. Kevin, that's an odd sort of a shot. They're trying to get it inside. One of the one tip by Silva, and then he tries with the left hand, and Kuma does a really nice job going straight up and not fouling. Kuma from Chan. I go. Nice pass outside. Open and free to fire. Kalu. They needed that. It was a three. It's a two-point game. And Cunningham splitting the defense. And Kalu is one of their top three-point shooters, Kevin. He's 6'10", 220 pounds, but he shoots 40% from outside the arc. And a really nice pass by Silva. He's now, Kalu with that hit from outside, is now Dan hit seven of his last 11 three-point shots. Over the last three-plus games, here comes Matthew Alexander Moncrief. Likely will take a seat. out of bounds shot clock at 24 when Avery Anderson can really defend yes he can and uh, you know he's the kid scored well over 2,000 points in high school but a lot of people feel like he has improved so much during this season that he might be the most improved player on Oklahoma State's team throughout the year one of the most improved players in the Big 12 conference second biggest increase in terms of points Hunt, no dance, shot clock at six, Kalu, free to fire, that'll trickle in for him, nice shot, Oregon State has tied the game, inside, in stride, Kayla Boone, Reichel, defensively there, took the charge. Again, Oregon State continues to do a nice job collapsing the defense into the middle, Going to try to force Oklahoma State to beat them shooting from the perimeter. Rondell Walker. Freshman is in the game for the Cowboys. Cunningham is protecting the wing. Another three. Beautiful stroke that time by Ethan Thompson. Eight nothing run by Oregon State. Here's a drive, Anderson inside forces the issue. It's like a battering ram as he takes it in into a couple defenders. Kevin, that's what he was, and Tucker couldn't get in, in position and just got knocked out of the way. And De'Aaron Tucker, 6'10", 240 pounds. And Anderson didn't go by him, he went through him. Thompson and Cunningham, senior against freshman. Slash, stop, kick, Reichel. Back down low. Tucker. Defended by Boone. Got it. Boy, now you can feel some confidence in their game. Well, they're starting to get the ball inside a little bit. And that's where they want to go. They want to go inside and build to the outside. Mm, second on Johnson. And that, that's, that is not good news no. for Oregon State. Thompson is their primary shot creator, not only for himself, but for his teammates. They're going to bring him out. Bring in Lucas. 
Uh, Kate Cunningham starts going, and Thompson reaches in. If you're Thompson, you just have to move your feet and beat him to the baseline, force him to pull up and shoot the jump shot. Kevin, there's still 12 minutes left in the yeah, first half, and their State. best players now on the bench. That is a developing story. Oregon State began the game 1 of 11, 4 of 4 cents. Hold on! Great interception inside by Hunt. Blazing the other way. Kalu, 3. And it's Cunningham with that long gate. Gets it inside Moncrief. Vacuumed in by Alatisha. They're running. Well, now Alatisha is a guy who can really go, but here what they do, they get the ball inside. Nice pass. Oh, Tucker got it inside. Beautiful pass it was indeed. And they get the two on the doorstep. Shots they were missing early. Alatisha comes up with it. Kevin, you see, they try to run, and if they don't have anything, then they're going to try to work that ball into the post. Caleb with great spin, and he check hammers it in. Boy, that was quick. It really was quick, and Tucker gave him the opportunity to do that. You don't want to get that close and that physical with the guy six or seven feet from the basket. It gives him the opportunity to spin around you. Moving here, Alatisha. It's a three by Kalu. Another three by the Beavers. And Kalu has come off the bench, Dan. He's put an eight and a couple of trains. And he only averages five a game, and he had something to say to the Oklahoma State bench after he made that shot, because I think they had something to say to him before he took it. Best player has a little bit of foul problem right now. But Oregon State, in a game that's had a couple of lead changes, scoring from outside. Cowboys here with a dunk. First time, Adam, you're right, going to the Sweet 16. Seventh consecutive win for Oral Roberts. Hit 10 threes. That is their calling card. Number three, Oral Roberts, Dan, in Division I. Three-point shooting, 10 today. And they're going to the Sweet 16. What? wins they've had over Ohio State and today the Gators. <laughs> I mean, Florida, they're the they were a seven seed. Ohio State, those are wins over two big name teams, teams that have had a lot of success in the NCAA tournament. Avery Anderson probing Cunningham. Outside they go Bryce Williams, who didn't play the other day, is in the game for the first time. Boone kicks it out. Three Williams. Rebound inside. It's claimed by the leaping Tucker. And so far, the Oklahoma, the Oregon State defense has kept the Cowboys out on the perimeter. That time they were in zone. Here's Kalu. Alatisha inside, got pickpocketed. Man, I want too many passes. He needed to turn around and shoot that. Likely, look at him get down in a hurry to the other end. Three, Williams. Rebound likely, tore it away, climbs inside, can't get it to go. Alatisha down court, hold on! Oh, oh, oh. Holy smokes! Hunt went high, flying through the air and was undercut and down he is. That was a hard landing. Uh, Kevin, and it was a very, very hard foul. I think the officials are going to have to take a look at this one. Now, he, he plays the ball, but it's not always about whether or not you play the ball. If the contact is excessive, remember, that's the definition of a flagrant foul, excessive or unnecessary. And yes, he was trying to play the ball, but they could very easily rule that as excessive contact. And particularly when a guy's in a vulnerable position like this, he slaps him across the arm. That has something to do with it. Now, Gene Steratore is our rules analyst. Gene, what'd you see? I think Dan makes a great point with the airborne player being in that defensive posture. You must couple that with now the swatting of the basketball and the arm becoming part of that, that swat. And if they deem that to just be a basketball play, and it, when he makes contact with that arm, if he doesn't follow through to then become excessive with the follow through after the contact with the, uh, with the, with the arm, then that's where the judgment will play in between both. There is a valid case for either or, 
in my opinion for me I feel like that's a basketball play but the vulnerability of that player could leave it somewhere else. I personally would like to see it remain as a common foul though. And they have. You were right Gene. That's what this veteran decorated crew has decided. And we'll go and shoot a free throw with Gianni Hunt. And again Kevin uh, you know that's the debate. Uh, anytime there's a guy falls hard like that the officials are going to have to go over and take a look at it. Well, when you come in that hot and get that high. That's the first. That was Anderson. Wasn't it? <laughs> Bryce Williams. Well, Bryce Williams will pick up that foul. Well, Bryce Williams is a tremendous leaper. Great defense. That's his calling card, Williams. Kate Cunningham swerving, firing. Rebound by Alatiche. Oregon's body, Oregon State's body language, very good here. Playing with confidence. Tucker, Boone defends. Carving his way down. Hunts again. And Tucker. You know, three second violation. Sure was. I think Alatiche stayed in there too long. Kevin, you're talking about Oregon State's body language, and I think it really changed when Kalu and Tucker came in the game. Those totally two agree. big guys, I think, really got things rolling for the Beavers. 17 4 run for Oregon State. They're down low. Caleb Boone with a gentle tip, and it's picked up inside. Hunt. That's really good position defense on the inside. Williams comes out on him. There's the driving move inside, and they finally locate the man they want it to go to, Tucker. It counts. It's a foul. Send him to the line. Kevin, originally, he didn't catch the ball cleanly, so he got the first one knocked away. But what a nice job and good hands to secure the basketball and go right back up. Doesn't catch it cleanly. He gives the fake. He carves himself out some position. Cunningham knocked it away. But what good hands to snare that one. And he draws the foul. De'Aaron Tucker, along with Kalu, coming in, Dan. This run, since those two left the bench, came in the game 19-6 for the Beavers. Kevin Kalu came in and provided a three-point spark. Yes. And between the two of them, just a little bit more athleticism on the inside. And that's important when you're playing a team like Oklahoma State. Likely against Reichel. Keelan Boone is now in. Look at Likely. Take it inside. Put back up and in by Cut. Moo, who puts it in, Bernard Camus for the Cowboys. Punches it back in. He only averages one point a game. He just did a nice job following the ball. The defender had to go to try to block the shot, and it left him wide open. Lucas. Kalu is shooting, and the foul goes on Bryce Williams. Puma with the basket at the other end. Putting it in, adding some size and some length. Cowboys the four seed, the Beavers the 12 seed on TBS. We invite you to scan this code now to watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. At the free throw line is Kalu. The bench has been the big story so far for the 12th seed Beavers, 15 to 2, Dan, plus 13 over Oklahoma State. Well, Kevin, they, they were 1 for 11, and they made seven of their last eight shots, and that's all since their best player, Thompson, went out of the game with foul trouble. There's Ethan Thompson right there. Reese Kalu is a 6'10 junior from Windsor, Ontario. Indian Hills Junior College in Iowa, top 40 Juco player. 
Oregon State's bench has put in 17. And Kalu, who averages five on the season, Kevin has 10. Mm. Cunningham. Six to a four start for him. Inside, they got it right there. Kuma, who scored moments ago from that same position. Bernard Kuma gets fouled inside. Reichel is the one to get him for the Beavers. That's Kuma a real be at the line. That's a really good pass inside. Uh, Oregon State's defense jumped the screen, and then they were trying quickly to rotate back. And before everybody could get back, that pass was rifled inside to Kuma, and Reichel had to try to deal with them, and Reichel's just too small. Kuma this season is only four of five from the free throw line. Didn't take a shot against Liberty the other day for the strike. That baby is right through the twine. The big red balls are back. John Cena and Nicole Byer host brand new episodes of Wipeout on TBS. Don't miss the all new season on a whole new network. April 1st on TBS. Kuma with another. Oklahoma State in the final AP poll, number 11. Let's go to Dana. Hey guys, you saw Gianni Hunt went down hard on that block earlier. He went to the locker room with the trainer. He's got a lower back injury, probable though to return. Yeah, thank you. He gave him a spark when he was in there. He was a high flyer, as we've said. Lucas is trying to peruse. They change. And they go outside. Alatiza into two with the spin and offensive foul. Alatiza picks up the foul. Kevin, a little too much one-on-one -on -one right there. He decided he was going to make that move when he caught the ball. And even though the defense was very good, Keelan Boone in great position, he thought, well, okay, I'll just try again. You get covered like that, you throw the ball out, you spin it to the other side, and you try again on, from the opposite side. Cunningham, the Big 12 Player of the Year, bumping into the big man. Now takes it in, shy rating for the shot. Kuma got it. Lost it. They fly inside, picking it up and putting it in is Avery Anderson. Well, that is the second time that Avery Anderson has gone right at the seven-footer, and Anderson has won the battle. And again, the best player for Oregon State. Ethan Thompson on the bench with two. Six and a half to play in the half. Alex Ishe. Jared Lucas. And it tries to burrow inside. Shot clock at nine. Alan Tiche over Cunningham. Running the other way. The bigs are running. Nice defensive play. Rejected by Alan Tiche. Kalu three. Jared Lucas. Well, they really ought to consider Garden Kalu. Oh, that pops on in there from Lucas. Oregon State has their biggest lead of 13. The Pac-12 tournament champions. Kalu from outside, right between the eyes. And then Lucas pops one in from three, up and down. The Bleacher Report app is home to all the action from around the tournament. Find your community by following your teams. Fan easier, fan faster, fan better. Download the Bleacher Report app today. Maurice Kalou in the Pac-12 championship game had 15 points. He had three threes. He had scored only 10 points in the previous eight games combined. Tonight off the bench, he's at three threes, 13 points, only player in double figures. Cunningham, Silva's on him up top. Three fired and missed. Silva with the rebound. He's got five. Now, Oklahoma State's got to dig in defensively, Kevin. Tariq Silver is coming for the first time for the Beavers. Lucas is on the perimeter. The defense there by Anderson. Likely is now on Kalu. Shot clock at seven. Lucas 
Frost was on the wing, but they had it instead for Franklin. And the other way comes Likely. He got tangled up. Lucas has it. Silva at the other end. And they kick it out. Kalu, it's a two. Backed up inside. Julian Franklin is in the game and on the floor and was fighting for the ball and out of bounds it goes. Boy, Kevin, <laughs> an awful lot of activity and not very much result the last couple of trips up and down the floor. Likely has got it. Big, strong guard. Honorable mention all Big 12. It's a three. Right down the hatch it goes. Keelan Boone. Only a 25% three-point shooter. And Wayne Tinker going deep into his bench right now. Oh, he is. Lucas making a move, working on Avery Anderson. Here's Franklin. The ball's got to go in there. So doubled, untangles. That's a three. That's good by Jared Lucas. Silva did a great job turning and being able to face the court out of that double team. Oh, a balance shot. Boone couldn't get it. Back the other way. Here they come. Lucas up and off and in. Wow. How did he keep the concentration to watch that drop? Kevin, this is an incredible play, starting from the fact that Silva actually takes it, just swats the ball out, and it ends up being a great outlet pass. <laughs> How did he not go into the basket? Dan, with the best player for the Beavers, Ethan Thompson went out with his second personal foul. You and I looked at each other and said, uh-oh. But since he's left, sitting on the bench with two fouls, 23-11 run for the Beavers. Well, and they've, Kevin, they've done everything right. They've made 11 of their last 14 shots. They've made six of their last seven threes. They're getting the ball inside. This is a great job. Ball goes into the post and does a nice job turning, pitching it out for the three-point basket. He's done that twice in this game. Lucas at the line, got one to drop in as he was driving in, hit hard. And during all of this, during this 33 to 13 run, the Cowboys first team All-America, Kate Cunningham, has not scored and he's missed two shots. Lucas, he is a brilliant free throw shooter. Number one in the Pac-12, 90%. First one right there is in. Here comes Cunningham. Big three here, no, too strong. It's picked up by Hunt, who is in the locker room, being looked at, reverses field, fires on the fly, likely has it. Three and a half to play in the half, here comes Likely. Contorts and puts it up in a foul. That is a big body to come downhill at you. They were right there and fouled on the play, and Silver will pick it up. Tariq Silver is a junior from Clarksville, Tennessee. Uh, th that's what Oklahoma State wants to do. They want to get out and go. They want to push the ball up the court. And, Kevin, it's interesting. Mike Boynton has said that when he tries to deal with his team in situations like this, he can't really talk to them about what has happened. He just needs to talk to them about what they need to do moving forward. And generally, they respond to that. Mike leaves a 57% free throw shooter. Coming up on AT&T at the half, scores and highlights and the latest NCAA tournament news. All coming up on AT&T at the half. Likely missing both. Four of seven shooting from the line for the Cowboys. Beavers a perfect eight of eight. The Pac-12 against the Big 12. Hunt. Likely is there. That's where they want to go. Slipping it down to the 7-1 Silva. And from behind, Moncrief reaching in. Matthew Alexander Moncrief, a freshman. Kevin, I think Moncrief would have been fine, may have even drawn an offensive foul, but he could not resist the temptation to reach in. You just have to move your feet, try to keep your body between Silva and the basket. So the best player on the Beavers, a first-team All-Pac-12 player, getting in foul trouble on the bench. And while he is sitting, that kid right there, Ethan Thompson, his team has exploded. And they hit the first there with Roman Silva. So now he'll have two fouls. I'm uh, assuming they're going to keep him on the bench the rest of the way. And now they get him in the second half 
fresh and ready to go. Well, Kevin, there's no reason to bring him back in the game when the team is playing as well as they are at the moment. By the way, Dan, the Pac-12 has not lost yet in this tournament. 26-11, the Beavers, since Thompson has left. Cunningham right here. Moncrief going down low, little shove. Hunt on the perimeter, watching him go in the circle and picks up the foul. Gianni Hunt. That's a nice job by Cunningham to just take and attack the basket. Cunningham, one of the top freshman scorers in college basketball. Well, as is Cameron Thomas, amongst the best two. That's it. And Kevin, the, the strange thing about this game is you get a look at Cade Cunningham's numbers, and obviously outstanding, but this is the type of, the, of game, a very fast game in which Oklahoma State usually excels. But they find themselves running behind, well behind at the moment. Likely will take a seat. Avery Anderson will come in. Full court pressure here. And it's Hunt. And Lucas. That's some catch. Sure was. Oh, they got him trapped and he traveled. Great defense by Oklahoma State. They blitzed him and it paid off. They made him go faster than he wanted to go, Kevin. When you get pressed like that, you have to try to maintain your own pace. You just got to be very tough with the basketball. Cunningham with the fake and on the fly, he'll fire. Hunt's got the ball. Took a hard spill earlier on, and they were looking at him back out there, bouncing in. Silva with the screen up high. Defense stays the same. Outside they go. Tariq Silver. Jared Lucas. Hunt throws it in. And out of bounds, and it's off of the Beavers. Nice defense by Avery Anderson of Oklahoma State. Well, Anderson, we've said he's a tremendous defender. He Hunt is. really telegraphed that. You need to either fake down and pass up or fake up and pass down. Ball screen, ball screen, ball. Get up, get up, get up. Cunningham probing. They pack it in. That's a three. Right down the middle it goes. Keelan Boone. He's only a 25% three-point shooter. He's in his second one from deep. And those have been two big baskets. Nice shot here. Kalu is defending, but Keelan Boone was right on the money. Oregon State's biggest lead has been 18, and now AT&T 5G takes us above the rim for one of the best plays of the night. And it's a spectacular play. Lucas never got above the rim. He ended up on the ground, but the ball did. It got above the rim and in the basket. How about Lucas? As a freshman last year, Jared Lucas of Oregon State averaged four. This year, he's averaging 13. Oh, they got him clamped in. Lucas will have to break it. Ball deflected. Kalu, they got a cross, and they finally do. No, they did. Not in time. Not in time. Defense by the Cowboys. And Kevin, this is a situation where Wayne Tinkle and the Beavers could probably really use Ethan Thompson. He's their primary ball handler. Oregon State has eight turnovers, five. Oh, and sure enough, Dan, out of your mouth. And here comes Thompson in the game with three consecutive turnovers. Tinkle had seen enough. Well, not, but they've got uh, Thompson has to be very careful. He doesn't yep. want to pick up his third foul, but he is in the game to handle the ball. Anderson's got it now for the Cowboys. At the screen, that's the mismatch. Sways and fires. It's a rebound inside by Roman Silva. It's Kalu the other way. Driving, hesitating, stammering, and foul. On the perimeter as he was taking it off the wing. Kevin, you could just tell Kalu is dribbling that ball. He was not going to stop. Like we said, we really had no clue about Kalu, but he has, from the last game we saw in the Pac-12, the championship game with three threes, and 15 points, and then come out blazing off the bench tonight. Maurice Kalu has been spectacular. 14 points, three of three from the line. 
Well, his career high is 18 points, Kevin, and he's already got 15. And he is a terrific free throw shooter. 25 of his last 28. Making a move on the perimeter, foul called, and it goes on Jared Lucas of the Beavers. And Wayne Tinkle is over there asking him, what are you doing? Right. You don't need to commit that foul in that situation that far from the basket. You put an excellent free throw shooter on the line for a one and one. Free throw line here is Avery Anderson, top 100 high school player. Part of the Big 12 All-Tournament team's second leading score at 12 points a game for the Cowboys. And a great free throw shooter. Well, Kevin, he's, he averages 12 points a game, but over his last 10 or 11 games, it's, he's been much better than that. You're right. And Silver will lasso it. And here comes Thompson. Dan said he's going to handle the ball. Sure enough, he's got it. Doubled on the play. Lucas with a three. Good rebound by Kalu. Chandra's inside and had it knocked away and out of bounds. All ball, 18 on the shot clock. Now the Cowboys really running at Ethan Thompson. And again, he's got to be aggressive with the basketball. He's got to be tough with the basketball, but he's got to be very careful. He doesn't pick up a charging foul. Surveying is Thompson. There was a foul on the inbound, and I think it went on Keelan Boone. Yes. I didn't see what he did, but Tim Clocker did. Yeah, that's right. Tim Clocker did. <laughs> that's all that matters. Top of the screen, he is trying to defend against Lucas coming off the pick. So Lucas hits the first. He set a Southern California high school record at Los Altos High School in Hacienda Heights, California in career points. And he has, he finished his high school career with the third most points in the history of high school basketball in the state of California. That's, that's a lot of state and that's a lot of kids. And he had a lot of points. That sounds pretty good to me, Kevin. Yeah, pretty good indeed. Here's Anderson on top. Uh, they've dropped back into his zone. They have. You like that? Well, it helps protect Thompson. Way outside. Boone firing. Lucas got it. Lucas picked up the foul. So now he's got a couple. Thompson has a couple. Well, and Kevin, again, I know Boone has made a couple of threes, but first of all, you never want to foul a three-point shooter, and Keelan Boone is only a 25% three-point shooter. That one will drop in. You know, there's a big freshman influence on this Cowboy team. Boone is a sophomore from Tulsa. But young players play a big role on Oklahoma State. Boone again, twin brother Caleb on the team. Memorial High School in Tulsa. Kevin, I think that this is a really good and necessary spurt for Oklahoma State. They were rocked back on their heels, but they've actually shown a little bit of momentum. Cowboys have led by five. Oregon State is led by 18. Winner here plays Loyola of Chicago with the big upset over number one Illinois earlier today. On a four-second different shot clock and yep. game clock. Cade Cunningham defending Ethan Thompson. First team conference player against first team conference player. Wheeling outside, off balance. Picked up in there. Grabbed by Moncrief. Can he beat the clock? Crashing inside, gashing his way in. And an offensive foul. That's a great job by Silver to just sure stand was. his ground. Thompson trying to stay away, but Silver. <laughs> Silver will check out and bring in Julian Franklin. I think Moncrief was so concerned about keeping the ball away from Thompson, he never looked up. He was looking down, dribbling the ball, never saw Thompson. Kalu, Thompson, good at the go. This is Oklahoma State's largest halftime deficit of the season. The 11th ranked team in the country. 
And the number four seed is down to 12th seeded Oregon State. That's the end of the first half. We'll take you to AT&T at the half after these messages as you're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. We're back in terrific Indianapolis, Hinkle Fieldhouse, Buick first half stats. The numbers right there, you see the shooting by the Beavers. They're plus nine and three. Leading the rebounding charge right now with Dan Bonner, Kevin Arnold will check in with uh, Dana moments from now. Kalu, we told you before, facing his old team tonight, has just been electric, and his shooting has been significant. Well, it really has been significant. Uh, Oregon State was one for 11, and they went to the bench, and this was the main guy off the bench. Maurice Kalu, he came in, he knocked down a couple of threes. He got a couple of rebounds. He's got 15 points in the game, Kevin to go along with four rebounds, and he and the other guys off the bench have been the key for the Beavers. They've been terrific downstairs to Dana. Kevin, thank you. I asked Coach Wayne Tinkle what they needed to do to keep this up in the second half, and he's pointed to the fundamentals. He wants to see his team use their press break, deploy to their spots, and stay aggressive. As for Oklahoma State, Coach Boynton told me that his team needs to play looser. They need to get out there and play more like the Beavers did in the first half. When I asked him why they weren't, why they might be tight, And he told them the answer is within them. They have to go out there and take this game. He also wants to see them be more aggressive, especially on the glass, go to the basket, and stop settling for jump shots. Dana, did he say anything about his All-America, Kate Cunningham, and where he stands as we take a look at some of these numbers on Kalu from Toronto, Windsor, Ontario. Began at Oklahoma State, went to a JC, as we mentioned, and saw the fit but Dana Cunningham has been quiet two of eight with eight points he has but you may remember from the first game when he was struggling early what coach said is he just doesn't worry about him out there he knows he'll get going on his own long shot right here no good right off the bat Ronda Walker popping one well, Kevin and that's exactly the opposite of what Mike Boyden said he wanted he didn't want to settle for jumpers Tiche, Thompson, and down low to Silva. Oh, what a pass. Drop pass inside. Alatiche could not convert. Likely the other way. Kate Cunningham with the ball in his hand. Into Thompson. Driving. Great feed. Up and in it goes. Boone, but the feed was right there. Spoon fed by Rondell Walker. Um, that's what you have to do. Attack the basket and keep attacking the basket. Kevin Alatiche has missed some point blank range opportunities. You're right. For the Beavers. Thompson. Five points, foul trouble. Alatiche likely is there. Boy, that is a tough guy to get by. Shot clock at eight. Now likely switches on Thompson. Outside, Reichel. Long inside, claimed by Cunningham. State in the man-to-man. -man. Boom. Silva tries to smear him and gets the loose ball. But Silva is, he, he has got long arms. He's seven feet one to begin with. 265 pounds. He's hard to get around. And sets a hard screen on top. And there's a foul. Bouncing off bodies like a pinball. Lucas is trying to find some space. And Caleb Boone is the one to draw the foul. He will leave. Kuma is back in. Well, Kuma made some important contributions yes, he in the did. first half, Kevin. Had a couple of rebounds, scored a couple of baskets. Caleb Boone just picked up his third, Dan. That's why he leaves. Thompson glides for a 14-footer. And remember, Thompson spent most of that first half on the bench. It's Anderson. Lucas will meet him, two minutes gone. Spinning inside, floats one on the fly, and a foul. Boy, you just can't play much better defense than Lucas played, but Anderson is just too quick and too aggressive. And this Thompson, it very comfortably doesn't try to take the ball in too far. He has an open area right there at the elbow, just rises up and knocks down the jump shot. Cowboys played in the Big 12 championship game. For the first time since 2005, they've had win streaks this season of six, five, and three. 
won their first game, 21 and 8 coming in. Final poll ranking number 11. The look at Mike Point. He was in the NCAA tournament as a player back in 2004 for South Carolina, and I remember him well. Kalu is in. Reichel is there. With the ball is Thompson. Now Letitia, Reichel, with good pressure. Moving the ball, Thompson will penetrate. Push and foul. Dan, there is something about playing in this tournament, loose and free. And Oregon State didn't think they had a chance to ever play in this. They win the postseason tournament in the Pac-12, surprising the conference and a lot of the country, automatic bid to this. They win the first day, and here they're leading a strong, stout, rugged Oklahoma State team. Well, keep in mind that Wayne Tinkle spent all that time at Montana, a one-bid league, so he knows that the key is to be playing well at the end of the season. Scan this code now to watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today. Thompson. And if you're Oklahoma State, you, you have to, you, you know you're not going to get it all back at once. So you just got to keep grinding away at this thing. This is a team that averages almost 80 points a game. They have the firepower. Nice ball rotation, Cunningham places one in from three. And that's Anderson again. He starts it all with his penetration to the basket. And then you're right, Kevin, that's great ball movement for a wide open shot. You just chip away a little bit at a time. Reichel is picked up by Walker. Cunningham is over on Reichel. Switching on D inside. Alatiche. Boy, look, he's got all kinds of white jerseys around him. Kalu, three. A little bit long. Put up and back in alertly. Alatiche pulls the trigger and gets the deuce. Likely. Floats one up. Cleaned up high. Alatiche. Thompson, three. Silva, no. No! Silva trying to dig it out. And it's tied up inside. Cowboys stay on D. Kevin, we're talking about the fact that you've got to get good shots. And Anderson, with the great penetration, draws two guys. And then quick ball movement gets the wide open three. Now, the thing they have to do better, they just they gave up a couple of offensive rebounds in transition. Can't do that. Alatiche from Houston. Reichel in the corner, a triple. Hit the side of the backboard, got the ball back. Shot clock continues to tick at 10, but it's claimed by the Cowboys. Racing the other way through traffic, streaming in, and a foul. Anderson, he's like a ghost as he takes it the other way. They got Thompson with that foul, Kevin, and that's three fouls on Ethan Thompson. That's one of those things, Thompson's just got to get out of the way there. And how about Anderson just sort of maneuvering around? Thompson was trying to get in position to take a charge, but Anderson just too quick. Anderson the other day had 21 points in the win over Liberty. And Anderson, Dan, over the last 10 games, about 17, 18 points a game and over 50% shooting. He is on a tear. And here Thompson going out again, Kevin. And you remember gotcha. at the end of the first half, the pressure forced Wayne Tinkle to put Thompson back in the game. Tariq Silver will check in a JC transfer, Tallahassee Community College. 16, 13, 11 point game. It was Oregon State by 18. After they began the game one of 11. Altiche against Cunningham. Silva inside Kalu. Knocked away. Shot clock at 17. Four minutes gone. And a timeout. A good one to end things here. 
Watch Masters Live on Paramount Plus for coverage of featured groups. Amen Corner with that guy right there, Grant Boone, and holes 15 and 16. Go to ParamountPlus.com to try it for free. Out alum of Abilene Christian. Boy, didn't they make waves in this tournament. My goodness. Oregon State missed nine of their last 11 shots. They've hit only two from the floor in the last eight. Silva, oh, pickpocketed. Here he comes, Cunningham, sifting through traffic and foul. Kevin, remember, Oregon State started the game missing 11 of their first 12 shots before they got hot. And this is what you have to do if you're Oklahoma State. Just keep the defense and pressure on. This is a team that forces turnovers, and they like to get out and go. Cunningham is a blinding talent man, but he has had two games right now which don't really depict what his season has been like. Here he is trying to chisel his way. Cross court. Boom, three, off. He's hit a couple. Keelan Boone missing right there and down court. Was it deflected? Yes. It was. It was deflected and ricochet is out of bounds. If it wasn't deflected, it was one of the worst passes in the history of passes. <laughs> I thought he was might have been throwing it to you. Terrific. Listen, I'm ready to catch it. Tariq Silver. Of course, we're, we're up here about 10 rows in our perch. Just happy to have this thing going on. My goodness. The bring back in uh, Bryce Williams. Williams again, an outstanding defender. Silva has to chase it. Well, the ball handle is over there. They're really struggling to handle the ball. Where they are. They've gotten jittery all of a sudden. Cunningham finagles his way inside. Offensive foul. Reichel has taken another charge. Reichel really lined him up for that one, Kevin. Reichel goes back and he just stands there. He waits for Cunningham to come. He knew Cunningham had to come around Kalu. If he's going to the basket, he's got to go around Kalu, and that will bring him right into Reichel. And now with the, the jittery ball handling, here's Thompson yep, back right. in the game. You're right, Dan. Crossing right now, met by the defense of Williams. And he's a good defensive player. Trying to twist out of it. Good screen, hard one. Foul call that goes on Roman Silva. Throwing his 7-1 frame around. And Oregon State has suddenly gotten stuck here. Silva steps over and he just keeps yeah. going. Yeah, I mean, you have to stop. That was a night. Anderson was going around that screen and Silva just stepped right into him. Oregon State has four turnovers the last five possessions, but it's still a double digit lead. Now, Oklahoma State has not really taken advantage of the opportunity with which they've been presented. Three coming in. But when you got a guy like Cunningham, that changes very quickly. It does indeed. Cunningham picking up fire like he did in the first game. Cunningham now at 14 to lead all Cowboy scores. Got to get the ball inside. There's a another turnover. Pass. Look at this. Playing inside. Williams couldn't get it. Yeah, the. Uh, Clear signal for landing as it was floating in from the wing. Okay, Cunningham, he's actually under pressure here, but he's able to take take his time in shooting that ball. And then the defensive pressure has been outstanding. You know, they can get out and go. They, they are really something. You'll have to. Williams at the free throw line, a 76% free throw shooter, a transfer from Mississippi. Played his freshman year at Ole Miss. Prior to that, at Daytona State Junior College. And he drills the first. Who envisioned greatness today? Tune in to Inside March Madness, presented by Buick, and find out. Got a number one seed, lose Illinois. Loyal will beat him. They've been a Cinderella again. Kevin, recall that in the first half, one of the ways that Oregon State got in, got into the game was to, to throw in the ball into the low post, and they've gotten away from that. They need to get the ball into the low post on the offensive end. Kaluta inbound. Reichel 
and Kalu. Used to wear that uniform of the Cowboys. Played there his freshman year. Kevin Anderson has been everywhere. Yeah, he has. <laughs> I mean, uh, if I'm dribbling the ball and Anderson's coming, I'm picking it up and I'm throwing it to somebody else. I think Oregon State needs a basket just to reverse the flow of the momentum. That's how they broke out of it. When they were one of 11, they started to hit. And things were going their way. Silver on the wing, on top for Thompson. The defensive-minded Williams. Thompson will penetrate. <laughs> Tough shot. I think they got to get their big guys down in the low post and throw them the ball. Kalen Boone, Cunningham. Kuma a screen inside. Kuma took it away and puts it in. Bernard Kuma. He averages a point a game. But tonight, coming up with six. Reichel. Five-point game. Nothing run. Silver on the perimeter. Fires and hits. What a big shot. Hit the deck. Fouled on the play. Kevin, that is a huge basket. The down on the Oklahoma State end. That is a really tough pass by Cunningham. Coop does a great job to catch it. He does. And then here, this is a really difficult shot by Silver, and keep in mind that Silver has played a total of 136 minutes this year, averages only 1.3 points a game, and yet he pulls up in that situation to shoot the ball. None of these guys lack confidence, I'll tell you that. Kuma picks up the foul, Silver at the line, doesn't complete the three-point play. Matthew Alexander, Moncrief has checked in. Cunningham with the ball, driving his Anderson. Slices inside and foul. This is what the Cowboys do, man. They get in there with that speed and length and athleticism, and they can slice and dice. Well, and they get to the free throw line, Kevin. Yes, they do. On the season, they have, coming into this game, they've made 59 more free throws than their opponents, and that's because they attack. Anderson had a big game late in the season against number six, West Virginia, March 6th, a career-high 31. He's at the line right now. He's got 10 and not just number 11. But Kevin, he's doing work from the free throw line. He's now seven of nine from the line. He's only made two field goals. A lot of balance scoring for the Cowboys, as you can tell. Seven different players have scored over 200 points. That's number one in Division I college basketball. And that's a five-point game with a look at the free throw. Zim Reichel trying to break the full court. Down court they go. Silver thinking three. Thompson's got the ball and will try to take it in. Kalu faking, throwing. Silver, mid-ranger. but I don't know that's the shot they want. Kalu shuffling, Reichel free to fire for three. With a rebound inside, collected by Keelan Boone. Cunningham has to tie his shoe at the other end. Like three-point shooting. Reichel is a very good three-point shooter, but he hadn't connected tonight. That was a wide open one. Anderson against Silver, leaning, and a foul. And it's on Tariq Silver. And again, Anderson drawing fouls, Kevin. Silver's got two. Anderson at the line. Cowboys over the last 11 games have gone nine and two. They did very well in quad one games, things that determine where they are positioned in this tournament. It's it right there. House of Highlights, The Real, is back for season three. Host Kenny Beecham sits with top athletes to react to the biggest moments of their careers. Watch now on Facebook now. Cowboys had an early lead of five. Inside, Boone trying to get it. Fouled again. Back to the line he goes. That was a 
a situation where Kalu had his hand on the ball and just couldn't hold it. You know, everything that was going right during that hot stretch for Oregon State in the first half is now that the momentum is running the other way. It's Oklahoma State that seems to be catching the brakes. We got shooter. We got shooter. Keelan Boone, 10 of 17 at the line this season, puts that in. And tonight, he's gone three of four from the strike. And Kevin, Oregon State has already committed eight fouls. So that means uh, or, uh, Oklahoma State, if they continue to attack, they're going to be going to the free throw line a lot here over the last 12 minutes and 14 seconds. Cunningham's going to catch his breath. Leads him with 14. Full court pressure. Kalu looking. And there was a foul, and it goes on Bryce Williams, who is watching Jared Lucas. I think if you're Oklahoma State, you have to live with that, Kevin. You really want to put pressure on the Beavers. Thompson gets it out of there. His dad, Stevie Thompson, is one of the assistant coaches for the Beavers. You may remember that name from Syracuse War and high flyer he was back in the 90s. Tucker. Uh oh, off Thompson. Likely is there. Likely's got it. Thompson in the way. Down he goes, rolling into the grass. Vacuumed in by Lucas. Coming the other oh, way. Goodness. A three. No. Rebound, Kalu. In, up, spun, out, Thompson. That's a foul. That's going to go on Bryce Williams again. The intensity of March. Now, thrilling drives presented by Nissan. And the drive by the drives are by Oklahoma State trying to drive to get back in the game. And you turn it over to your best guy. Kate Cunningham has knocked down a couple of threes. A really nice pass inside to Kuma. And they have gradually whittled away at this thing, Kevin. It was 18. It's now four. And here's what we're talking about. They're poking away at the lead. Very nice. You're not gonna you're not gonna make an 18-point play. So you've got to battle gradually to get back in the game, and that's exactly what the Cowboys have done. One and one. Ethan Thompson at the free throw line, one of the most decorated players in the history of Oregon State basketball. That rolls out. Moncrief grabbed it. And Anderson's got it. Thompson, an 80% free throw shooter, misses the front end of a one and one. You can't leave points at the free throw line. Cunningham. Thrashing, firing, knocking it in. Cade Cunningham. He was just too big for Lucas. It's a two-point game. It was an 18-point lead for the Beavers. Bouncing up bodies Lucas. Knocked off his horse. Off balance from behind and a foul. Anderson got it. Well, Cunningham, that's just a great job. He drives you back with that dribble and then is able to pull up and shoot the jump shot. You know, he can make threes, Kevin, but I think the best part of his game is that mid-range game because he can rise up and shoot it. Usually he's got a smaller guy guarding him. Dana began this game by letting us know that the Beavers were picked to finish last in the pack 12. That'll roll in. They won the pack 10 postseason tournament the champion beat number 25 Oregon in the semifinals number 23 Colorado in the finals and winning the tournament for the first time in school history coming in they won four in a row seven of eight and they beat Tennessee in the first round here on Friday now they've got their work cut out for them now because it's a close game and Oklahoma State has a great closer in Kate Cunningham, a guy who can go get you a basket when you need it. Farron Flavors is in with the ball. Cunningham will work on Thompson. And Thompson's got to be careful. Silver defending. Cunningham trying to find an escape hatch and throws it inside. Good catch, scooping it up. No good on the play, missing there, Keelan Boone. It's really good defense on the inside by Silva. 
Let's see if they can post Silva up. Thompson and Silva. They've totally gotten away from that throwing it into the post game that worked so successfully in the first half. Maybe now try a pick and roll. They go down low. In the corner, Thompson three. Boone has the ball. Cunningham will dribble up court. He can detonate at any time. Out of bounds off of Ethan Thompson. Kevin, now something to keep in mind, the Cowboys do turn it over quite a bit, particularly when they're trying to play quickly. And Cunningham that time, he jumped off his feet to try to pass the ball. You don't want to do that. Screen, Cunningham. It's a three. No good by Rondell Walker. Cleaned inside nicely that time by Alatisha. Boy, Alatisha can really get off the floor. Lucas, under 10 to play. Alatisha driving inside on Keelan Boone. Got it. That's really a nice job by Alatisha. And again, he, we, he had showed that jumping ability, getting the defensive rebound, but he really went up. Shot that shot from a very high level. Flavors three, no, from way outside. Rebound, long, silver, reels it in. Right, you got to worry about shot selection now. Yep. If you're Oklahoma State, Oregon State is in his zone. You don't want to settle for that three point shot. Into Silva, the spin, and a smaller defender, Moncrief, but he misses. The galloping Cunningham to the hole. Well, he got fouled before the shot. He did. Kevin, that, that's exactly where Oklahoma, uh, Oregon State wants to go. Silva just missed the previous one, but the one before that, Alatiche does a really nice job getting position, great pivot, goes really high on that jump shot. Oregon State's rebounding tonight, plus 13. Bench points, plus nine for the Beavers. You can see Cunningham. This is just what he did the other day, as you can see. He built up some steam in the second half in the win over Liberty. Well, again, Kevin, we have almost nine minutes left to go in this game, and you have to figure Cunningham is going to have the ball in his hands an awful lot down the stretch. He was the Big 12 player of the year in the Big 12 freshman of the year. Only three other players have been decorated like that. Marcus Smart, Michael Beasley, Kevin Durant, and now Cade Cunningham. Thompson. Reichel. Thompson seems a sliver, takes it inside. Pretty play by Ethan Thompson. Boy, Thompson's aggressive despite those three personal fouls. Likely is in, Cunningham. On grief a screen. Flavors maneuvers for a mid-range shot. Moncrief inhales the ball inside and picked up. Thompson took it. Walker was there. Fouled in the play, and I think they're going to call it on Flavors. Thompson, I mean, he's the best player, and you expect your best player to be able to make plays. This is really tough going through three defenders. Moncrief came over. Not enough. That's really a clever maneuver in the air by Ethan Thompson. Number eight score, number three in assists all time, number eight and three pointers made. And today, Dan is starting his 125th game. 125 starts for Ethan Thompson. Well, Kevin, Oregon State seems to have righted the ship right at the moment. And so if you're Oklahoma State, now you've got to dig in and start climbing back in once again. It was 54-52. The Beavers have gone on an eight to one run. The clock now hitting eight minutes to play. Still plenty of time. High screen Moncrief, Cunningham three, short. Got his own miss, Reichel is there. Outside, likely, back to Cunningham. 
He'll weave, he'll drive, he'll feed. There's a foul. Hungry put it up and in, but the foul was before it went in. Fighting for survival. Survive in advance on the minds of the Beavers and the Cowboys on TBS. Well, the shooting is only 30% for Oklahoma State, but Dan, they wiped out an 18-point deficit, got as close as two, and the Beavers have jumped back up by nine. Well, they've climbed back in, Kevin, and whenever you get way behind, most of the time your comeback isn't all at once. You come back, and then the other team stretches it out again, and the important thing to do is you just keep chipping away, and their ability to make free throws, each team has made 20 free throws in the game, Everybody's going to be shooting two from now on, and we've got lots of time left. Seven forty-six. He deploys the second free throw. And so now Oklahoma State going to come to with the pressure again. Oregon State has handled it pretty well as long as they have Thompson in the right. Good point. Williams on him. He's as quick as a hiccup with his defense. Reichel. Silva. On Creef on him. Likely hasn't scored. He's on the defense at Kalu. Three. Lucas Snow. Likely's got the ball. Lucas, good three-point shooter. You take that one. Cunningham trying to punish him. Here's a triple. Big rebound inside. And flying in, missing the doorstep layup is Anderson after the rebound by Moncrief. And here come the Beavers. Seven to play. Boy, they were a couple wow. of really good opportunities for Oklahoma State. It's getting gnarly inside as Thompson tries to move around Cunningham, who just picked up the foul. This is a really good rebound by Moncrief. The ball bounces around, so Silva's not able to get in position. And then, uh, Kevin, I think Anderson needed to dribble that ball one time. He mm. tried to take the one big step to the basket, and as a result, he just wasn't able to lay the ball in over the front of the rim. Beavers began the season 11 and 11, but they've won seven of their last eight. And winning seven of eight for Coach Wayne Tinkle, seven of those wins away from home. Whether here at the Pac-12 tournament, Danny mentioned something earlier. He was in the big sky, and their whole season was geared toward the tournament winning the championship and getting to the NCAA. So he's used to building a team as the season goes on. 15-foot shot, no good that time by Anderson, picked up by Jared Lucas. The clock is at 6.37 and ticking. Silva does a really nice job if he can't get the rebound, tipping it out. Shot clock at nine. He's way out there. Silva trying to set a screen. Anderson's defense, the three. No. In there fighting for that ball, Moncrief. With a whistle. Silva over the back. Sure was. Silva picks it up. Number three, Dan, on him. Kevin, very early in that possession, Silva had great position inside, but Lucas did not throw the ball in because he saw Anderson lurking really close, getting ready to steal the ball. So Anderson prevented the ball from going inside and forced Oregon State into that long three. Matthew Alexander, Moncrief at the line. He's from Ontario, a freshman. Rattles on in there. He's played for several Canadian national teams. Foul trouble here, and these are all prominent players. Kevin, it was as many free throws as we've had in this game. You'd expect there'd be a lot of foul trouble. And obviously, these are big opportunities. So much. Williams is on him for Oklahoma State. Approaching six to play. In 
to Silva. Nice lunging knock away, deflected out of bounds by Moncrief. Shot clock at 12. Good quickness by Moncrief. Silva didn't really do a very good job keeping him on his back. But he looked wide open. Moncrief came from nowhere to knock that one out. Thompson has it on top. Shot clock at nine. He's got meticulous footwork. Silva, they blitz him. Cross court. Reichel got open by Cunningham. Spoon feeds the big man who fumbled it away in a shot clock violation. You know, Kevin, I think Silva was expecting Reichel to shoot that ball. He was trying to get himself in position for a rebound. But uh, if you're a big guy and you're headed toward the basket, you've got to expect the ball to come to you. Tough break for Oregon State. Cowboys cut it to two, but since that time, they've gone 0 of 9. They are in desperate need of a shot to fall. Can Cunningham do it here? Big rebound inside. Boom. No. Two right in front, both the strength. Boy, and that's, I mean, how many point blank range opportunities have they missed here recently? And to Silva. Got it up and down. The big man will toss it in. Five to play, and the lead is 11. Boy, Kevin, he was all alone, and that pass took so long to get to it. I thought, <laughs> and he turned it. I thought two different Oklahoma State guys are going to get it, but they missed. 12-3 run by Oregon State. Roman Silva shoots almost 70% on the inside for Oregon State, so you know they want him to get him the ball. And here he just fumbles it away. And now this time he again fumbles it, but this time he recovers it. Kevin, some days you get the bear, some days the bear gets you. Right. That time he was able to score. He remains in the game. Well, he, he has been such a factor on the inside, Kevin. He's got 11 rebounds, and I'm really impressed by the fact that oftentimes when he can't get the rebound, he has a real knack for slapping it to one of his teammates. He's got four offensive balls. Look at this. Slashing move inside. Count it. That's a foul. The lightning quick. Avery Anderson skating for two. Kevin, to show you how quick he is, Kalu was trying to get out of the way, and Anderson was so, so quick, Kalu didn't. He's trying to... Catch smoke in the air, isn't it? You know, I, I don't know that anybody touched him. He was so fast. But that looked like a foul. That's a big, that's a big play right there. Three-point play. The pressure is here. Hemmed in at Lucas. They get it by Reichel. Two on one. The big man Silva on the deck. Up and knocked away by Cunningham and a foul on the Cowboys. Who did they who did they get the foul on? They called the foul on Moncrief. Before he got to Cunningham. So Silva will be at the line. Silva that time caught that ball on the run and he found himself under the basket. I think he was lucky to get fouled. He's got six points and 11 rebounds and he's two of two from the strike. Hunting a free throw here, missing right there. 69%er after the games are over. Our studio team will have all the highlights and analysis on Inside March Madness, presented by Buick, coming up only on TBS. Kevin, you have to say that every time Oregon State has stretched it out, Oklahoma State has been able to have a little spurt, and the Cowboys need one now. Williams on the wing and corks a three. Big shot. Big shot. It's a six-point game. So they've scored three points in each of their last two possessions. Oh, dangerous pass. It was Kalu. He's got to get by Thompson. And he does. But doubled the into way, and he traveled with the ball. Defense by Oklahoma State. Well, Kalu didn't do Thompson any favors that time. Throwing Thompson the ball when he was dribbling toward that corner. You know, once he crosses that free throw, that uh, mid-court line, he's trapped over there. Alatisha will check back in for the Beavers. Kalu will take a breather. Quiet in the second half. Kalu was a monster in the first with 15. Cunningham has it knocked away. Here comes Thompson the other way. Slides in for two. Great defense. Fouled on the play. Send him to the line. Well, Alatisha just came in the game, Kevin, and he's the guy who made the defensive play. This really a nice block shot by Alatiche. The ball goes right 
to Thompson. And this is a play where if you're Williams, you just have to leave that one go. Alatiche, the leading shot blocker for the Beavers, a transfer from Nichols State where he started for a couple years. He's on a west side high in Houston. Comes up with a huge defensive play. Williams, his fifth foul. The fifth foul on Bryce Williams of Oklahoma State. Part of a big defensive stand for the Cowboys. Gone. Dana, what do you have? about Hakeem. I'm sorry, you're talking about Alatiche. What I wanted to say is that is his idol, Hakeem Olajuwon. They're both from Nigeria. They actually go to the same mosque in Houston. Hakeem heard all about him. He hasn't gotten a chance really to see him play, but he did have some advice that he passed along for him. He said, the world is watching. Be aggressive, but don't foul out. That's easy for Hakeem to say, right? Exactly. One of the greats of all time. Step back three right here. Oh, that's the third three Boone has made today. They have, they have been big shots. Oh, they steal it with Cunningham. Anderson, Cunningham, three. Wow! Every chamber is filled for the Cowboys. It's a three-point game. A step back triple there. A defensive steal. Then Cunningham laces one from three-point land. The second round continues tomorrow at noon Eastern on CBS with Oregon against Iowa. At 4.30 Eastern, TBS has the NCAA Nissan tip-off show. Eight games across CBS, TBS, and TNT. Over 12 hours. Wrapping up the second round. All headed to the Sweet 16. Michael inbound, three and a half to go. The Oregon State lead, one time 18 is down to three. Thompson. And let's see if Oregon State can respond again. They have every time Oklahoma State has taken a run at them. Michael has it. Defense there on him by Walker. Lucas has it. On him is Anderson. Screen by Sebas sets up the three right here with the screen. It's high. They volleyball it around. Picked up by Avery Anderson. He'll gallop up and off and picked up by Jared Lucas. And he'll come streaming the other way. Alatisha. Under three to go. Boy, Alatisha, a little casual handling that ball. Cunningham on Thompson. Thompson wheeling, steering, swerving, spinning, firing. Good! Oh what a shot! With that six was. to fire. With six seconds on the shot clock. And with Cunningham all over him. Draped on him. Anderson. Two and a half to go. Look at him slice. Picked up inside, Keelan Boone. Outside Walker. Cross court Anderson by Lucas. Good feed inside. Out Walker corner. Keelan Boone triple. Big rebound by Ziva. And outside it goes for Jared Lucas. Oh, they've got him in a straight jacket. Tie up right there. You know, Lucas, I don't understand why Lucas elected to just not dribble across the mid court line. He went right along the mid court line, dribbled himself right into trouble. You know, he had, I, I know he doesn't, maybe doesn't want to go all the way down and try to shoot a layup or something, but he was just asking for trouble and he found it. Turnovers, he did indeed find it. Turnovers this half, Oregon State 10, Oklahoma State just two. And when you're out ahead of the pack, you don't turn around and go back into the white shirts. Coming in a screen, laser pass inside, Moncrief. And he got that from Anderson. Moncrief will be at the line. And Oregon State dodges a bullet there. That was very close to a three-point play. Oklahoma State tonight has missed ten free throws. The Beavers have missed three. One and two from the line is Matthew Alexander Minecraft. See, not a great free throw shooter. Nope. He's in the 50s, isn't he? Well, now, if you're Oregon State, you have to make sure you block out. 
Oklahoma State with 11 offensive rebounds. Packer got it, torn away. Moncrief has it, outside Anderson. Thompson fires into him, three, no. Thompson's got it. Oh, he swarmed under, draping defense and a whistle. Moncrief, I think it was. Kevin, up you, the Kevin, you have to say the Cowboys had some opportunities. Yes, they did. You know, they came up with that offensive rebound, and then they just couldn't get it to go. Boy, bodies ramming down. It's, uh, but what a play there by Thompson. You know, at the end of a basketball game, when guys are swarming all over you, sometimes you're looking for the referee to bail you out and call a foul. But not Thompson. Thompson was tough with the ball, stepped through that double team. Moncrief is gone. That's two guys from Oklahoma State who fouled out. And they got Anderson with four. Thompson at the line. He has played in foul trouble most of the game. He's at three right now, two in the first half, cleaner in the second. The starters on the floor for Oregon State as Thompson buries the first. Kevin, now let's see if Oklahoma State has another run in them. They ran at the Beavers, and now Oregon State has responded. That's what we've seen this entire second half. Thompson from the line is an 80% free throw shooter, and we've got a cut right there, and this is where these athletic trainers come into play. This is National Athletic Trainer Month. They do so much more than just take care of things like this, but these trained professionals who have been probably the linchpin in so many ways overseeing COVID protocol for these players. They become a confidant in lieu of being with friends and these athletic trainers do a marvelous job and they have been so important to this NCAA tournament and the season really getting underway. Our hats are tipped to them. Our game reset right here. And Kevin, you can see each team with two timeouts left. An important factor there, o Oregon State has the possession here. And again, all shots are two shot, all fouls are two shot fouls now. Ethan Thompson is 11 of 12 at the free throw line, 11 of his 22 from the strike. It's a seven point lead, Thompson 17 points this half for the Beavers. Right now, his defense is on Cunningham, the first team All-America, driving, stammering, up and off. Tishi's got the ball. And Silva did a great job knocking that one away. Lucas has got to get it, calling the timeout. He was too far away, Dan. He was going to get caught. Calls the timeout. Oregon State's got one. Cowboys have two in a seven-point game on TBS. With the game reset right there, the winner here advances to the Sweet 16. Kevin, we talked, about, Loyola. we talked about Oklahoma, uh, Oregon State having two timeouts left. That was a very valuable use of the timeout. You can see there's 23 seconds left on the shot clock. Lucas was not going to get that ball across half court in time, but by calling that timeout, he buys an extra 10 seconds for the Beavers to get it over. Michael to inbound. Elatiche, Thompson, Lucas, Silva in there for the Beavers. Pac-10 tournament champions. Thompson, Reichel, and he slings it off to Lucas. I want to keep moving here. Shot clock at 10. The defense are coming here. Shot clock at six. Shot clock at three. One minute oh, save, what a great steal. Walker got it, coming in the other way. The bump, the spin, spoon feeds Walker, three, no. Thompson skies high, brings it down. And a foul on the Cowboys, 49 seconds to go. Rondell Walker is a good three point shooter, and he had an open opportunity. Now, Lucas was flying at him, but Ethan Thompson, I mean, the team played very well for that long stretch in the first half when he went out with foul trouble. But he has been a key cog in this machine ever since he came back into the game late in the first half to handle the ball. Thompson. Thompson has 14 of Oregon State's last 17 points from the free throw line, 12 of 13. 23 a game high. 
Beavers have made 27 of 30 free throws, Cubs. Just amazing. Cunningham with a three. Big rebound by Thompson. Walker is defending. Ball is loose. Vacuumed in by Walker. Down court, Keelan Boone. He'll unleash a three, missing it all. Picked up inside by Lucas. 29.7 to go. How about this? Well, Kevin, isn't this what has been happening in this particular tournament? I mean, another double-digit seed is going to win the game. In a season that has been anything but normal, the tournament, a reflection of all of them, with Lucas at the line. Kevin, and you got to tip your hat to Oregon State. They started the game one for 11, and then they got on a hot streak. Then they got up by 18, and Oklahoma State cut it to two. And yet Oregon State has withstood the charge. Cunningham forces one up. Thompson was there. Foul. Thompson. 8-0 run by Oregon State. 24.3. Thompson said I was vertical. Well, Thompson was not vertical. <laughs> and that, and that, that, that's what I'm saying. That's what In that particular situation, you just stay away. Cunningham from the line, 5 of 7. Kevin, he scored 22 points, but he's taken 19 shots to do it. He was 4 for 10 from beyond the arc. And you have to figure this is uh, Kate Cunningham's last time in an Oklahoma State uniform. Lee Mitchell. Free throw story, as we've talked about all night long, significant. Now those 12 misses from the free throw line for Oklahoma State certainly haven't helped. Oregon State years ago made the Sweet 16, but it was vacated. Mitchell just picked up the foul. Walk on from Jefferson, Texas. Oregon State's 30 free throws made is a new season high. It had to figure into Wayne Tinkle's game plan tonight. Well, Oklahoma State, it had to be part of the equation for him. For well, sure. He had to figure that Oklahoma State was going to commit fouls because they were scrambling trying to get back in the game. I think we have a... Is Cunningham bleeding? I was just going to say, I think the athletic trainer is going to come over. He is in this National Athletic Trainers Month. They work in more settings, certainly, than just sports. But they become invaluable this time of year. And the blood is easily visible. So he will work on that. Most of these guys have masters and highly educated and perhaps the most valuable part of the team program are these athletic trainers. 23 seconds. Oregon State by eight. Four seed Oklahoma State on the ropes. Hammering away all night long. They never really lost their focus. Oregon State did, Dan. They never really got, you know, they were never ruffled. They, they, they continued to just stick with it, even when the pressure was applied and the comeback was being put together and constructed by the Cowboys. Well, they made some mistakes, particularly at the end of the first half. They really did look rattled, but... When Ethan Thompson came back in the game, that settled them down, and they haven't been perfect since then, but every time Oklahoma State made a run at them, they responded. So they had one vacated. Oregon State did a sweet 16 in the 80s, but they did make it in 1975. So you're going back many, many years. Team picked to finish last in the conference, won the postseason tournament. They lead by 10. Cunningham triple. Missed it all. 
14 seconds left. Dan, it was 70 to 67 with three and a half minutes left after Oklahoma State made a quick three pointer and then one more. Then Oregon State scored the next eight points, six by Thompson. Reichel is there. Holder loosening up. That's it. This will make headlines. Oregon State is going to the Sweet 16. This is the last game we see Cunningham in a college uniform. But for the Oregon State Beavers, surprising everybody in the Pac-10 tournament with the win, they just captured another win at the NCAAs. They've won five in a row in eight of nine, and Wayne Tinkle comes up with a huge, huge win.